Okay. Okay. Settings. Okay. All right. These set. There's hidden Overwatch 2 settings that change your aim. Okay. They'll make you better. I promise. All right. You just you go to options. You go to video. Okay. You turn off dynamic render scale. Don't ask any questions. I don't know what it does, but it'll help. I pro. <laughs> I pro. <laughs> I promise. Okay. And then you go over to controls. Everyone's saying that their aim is feeling super floaty in Overwatch 2. People are complaining a lot. That's because there's a bug where controller settings are getting transferred over to keyboard and mouse. So aim smoothing is usually set to 50, 0. Aim is in, 0. You can change your sense or whatever. Just turn all this stuff off. Okay. This is the play. All right. And then there's more. Accessibility, you want to turn your camera shake to reduce, turn off your HUD shake. It makes a difference, I swear. It makes a difference, okay? And then, for some reason, hidden in gameplay, off by default, is enable high precision mouse input. You gotta turn that on. That'll help you a lot, okay? And then, if you're a Kiriko player, you change your swift step, okay, see, so look, it's usually set to 50. Swift step sensitivity. 50%, okay? So you like, look at your teammate, and then you teleport to them. But you can't like... I mean, you can do 180 flicks. Okay, so imagine you're in someone's backline, you're like, Oh shit, I got a blast! And then you go, Whoa! Okay, see how that took forever? That took like a second. But, if you turn it up to 100... Look at this, look at this, look at this. Professional Kiriko tips, you just go... Like that. Okay, I swear it's easier. I messed it up the first time. <laughs> it's easier, I swear. Okay, you want to do that? All right. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> it makes a difference. Okay. It makes a difference. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> if you're a Lucio player, this isn't specific to Overwatch 2, but you want to turn on a loud backwards wall ride. And if you feel like you have no control of your wall ride, you should turn this setting off. Um, What it does is it gives you an extra button to press every time you wall ride. So it's a little less easy, but it gives you a lot more control. And that's how you become the best rank 1 player in Overwatch, simply by changing your settings. You're welcome.